Okay guys, I got another SEO quickie here for you. I'm using uh, ChatGPT, the browsing alpha model, which uh, soon will be available for everybody. You don't need to use the browsing alpha model. I'll tell you how to do this without it. People use ChatGPT for a lot of SEO purposes uh, and they do it wrongly in many cases, like asking it for keywords or asking it just to write an article is the wrong way of using ChatGPT. That's boring. That's gonna be detected. That's not gonna be very good. But there are right ways of using ChatGPT for SEO. And this is one of them, for example, to try to find scientific testing on conversion rate optimization, and then determine which call to action will get the highest clicks. If you're not sure what to do, it might get you a better idea. So I did, according to scientific testing on CRO, which of these CTAs will get the highest clicks for bad credit loan applications? And it's for Canadians, if that matters, right? This shouldn't matter, but just in case there was a study that had Canadians in it, and they would browse and find it, I wanted to do that. Now, these are all the competitors. This was one that my employee came up with. The client liked the ones that were competitor based. We liked this one a bit better because we felt it had more uh, value in it, a sales value proposition in it, but it was much longer. So we were like, okay, do you have any scientific testing on this? Uh, and it said, it searched for this first and it searched for this. And it's like, no, there are no readily available scientific testing results or conversion optimization for specific calls to actions. Now, I already have some scientific results on this in my underground SU university. If you're interested about that, please email me to join underground SU university. But I wanted to see if there was any more on bad credit loans specifically. And it says, no, there's no specific scientific testing on conversion rate optimization for bad credit loan applications. Since I couldn't find any specific scientific testing data, however, this is the important part. I can provide a list of CTAs that are commonly used in the industry and could potentially perform well. So it says, here's these ones, plus here are five more that I'll make for you, which I asked. Now it says, keep in mind the effectiveness of CTAs depend on the target audience. You should A-B test them. And I totally agree. If you can A-B test them, you should A-B test them. Swap them out, try one for a week, try another for a week and see how they do if you have comparable traffic or randomly have a tool that will 50% change them on the traffic as they get there. And then I said, okay, well, this is not good enough. I want you to rate each call to action from one to 10. And it says, I don't have any specific scientific testing data. However, I can provide, and this is the important part, and smart large language models can do this, the bigger the model it is. And this is the right way of using these large language models to help you not make the decision for you, but to help you analyze it and help you make the decision. Because however, I can provide a general analysis based on best practices in CRO and digital marketing, which it does have in its data banks. It does have in its corpus already. And so look, it rates them. It says apply now, gives it eight to 10, and it gives you the reason why. Direct and to the point, this CTA encourages immediate action and is commonly used in the industry. Get your loan, seven out of 10. This CTA emphasis the benefits to the user getting a loan, but may not convey a sense of urgency, right? Find my loan. Personalize at seven out of 10. Personalized language my may resonate with users, but it may not convey a clear call to action, right? Get started, a common and straightforward CTA that invites users to begin the loan application process, but only a seven out of 10. And these were all the ones that the competitors were using. So here is another great point. Just because your competitors are doing it does not mean you should. You should not be repeating their mistakes. You should be using AI to analyze things intelligently in a clever, smart way, leveraging the actual intelligence in AIs and not leveraging the unintelligence in, in AIs, right? Like don't ask it to do something it can't do very well. Like don't ask it to write your page. Don't ask, like right out of the box. Don't say, write me a page on bad credit loans. That would have been a terrible page, right? Don't ask it to tell me what keywords should I use to try to rank for bad credit loans. It'll give you just a smattering of keywords that have a 50-50 chance of being good. That's the wrong way of using it. What you should be using it for is give me on the best practices and principles of CRO, for example, rate these calls to action. So then it says, find out if you're pre-qualified in seconds. It gives it a nine and a 10. It says the mention. Now I didn't say anywhere up here that this was mine. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't bias it in any way. I just said, rate these for me, please. And it says the mention of quick pre-qualification is a strong incentive and the exclamation point adds excitement. Scientifically it does. It does. So find out, it's a call to action. It's a verbing them. Find out if you also uses one of the top five power psychology words. You are pre-qualified in seconds is another of the top five psychology power words that social science has proven to boost. It's an adjective describing how good this is. You're building the value in seconds. It's also giving a time 
a quotient to do it as well. But it is very long. Okay, can we get a shorter one? All right. Unlock your financial potential, six out of 10. While aspirational, this CTA is less direct and may not clearly indicate what action the user should take. True, secure your loan today. This CTA creates a sense of security and urgency, encouraging users to take immediate action. This isn't bad, secure your loan today. See your loan options. Yeah, not so great. Doesn't have a sense of urgency. But here's one that it came up with that I thought is great and probably what we'll go with. Fast approval, apply now. Highlights the benefit of fast approval and combines it with a direct call to action, making it compelling. And it has cadence, fast approval, apply now. In terms of the beat, in terms of the, of the meter, literally fast approval, apply now. So if this is too long, then this one really is probably the best one, I would say. And I'm, it's, it's uncanny to me how the AI got it right, in my opinion. And so it says these ratings are based on general principles of effective CTA, such as clarity, urgency, and personalization. Clarity, urgency, and personalization. It's important to conduct A-B testing with your target audience to determine which CTAs are most effective for your specific use case. If I was going to A-B test this, I'd A-B test this one versus this one. I would do the longer one, see if they like it. I would do the shorter one, see if they like it. The shorter one is probably the one they will like more. It got the same rating. I think I agree. I agree. Fast approval, apply now. Could even put an exclamation mark on it. It might even have a little bit more of a CRO boost. All right, guys. I hope you like that quickie. And keep on using AI for the SEO wins in the right, intelligent, and smart way.